investigators seized 14 boxes and a computer from this home three weeks ago. We now know some of what was inside. When you start using scalpel blades and handles and forceps and scissors and all of the stuff that needs to be not only sterilized but then done under really clean conditions, that kind of thing doesn't happen in a basement of a home. Zhao Li, also known as Sabrina, registered a permanent makeup tattooing business here, but she doesn't have a license to do tattoos, let alone facelifts, eye lifts and nose jobs, as she's accused of doing. The head of the College of Physicians wants any patient who may have had work done here to get tested for HIV and hepatitis because of what they did not find in the makeshift operating room of this basement clinic. This is horrific we can confirm there was no autoclave on site, so the instruments were not being cleaned properly. The college says the investigation began when a doctor came forward saying his 23-year-old patient was left with a nasty infection after getting nose implant surgery at this unlicensed basement clinic. According to a price list found inside for between $300 and $5,000, several procedures were offered that can only be done by a physician. Surgery around the eyelid to you know, it enhance your eyelid appearance, and then what we call thread facelifts, things that do to sort of tighten up your face, as well as Botox injections. Zhao Li lives here with her spouse, who recently returned to Canada after eight years teaching ESL in China, according to his Facebook profile. He refused to answer any questions about the allegations his recently renovated basement is home to an illegal medical clinic. The college is waiting for a court date to turn a temporary injunction against Lee doing any medical procedures into a permanent one. Natalie Clancy, CBC News, Delta, BC.